This week on Machinery Pete TV, Pete's in the Hoosier State for a farm retirement auction, and you're in for a treat as the 6175R sets an all-time record auction price. This collector's 1950 Oliver is just like the one Grandpa had, and social media and YouTube star Erin Holbert sits down with Pete to discuss her unique brand. Your machinery is a serious investment, and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. Well today folks, we're going to zero in on three of the hottest sectors I see in the used farm equipment market here late in 2021. Good condition used tractors, skid steers, and precision ag equipment. Welcome to Noblesville, Indiana. We're here for the retirement auction today for Terry and Joni Lawson. Now before we watch this hot stuff sell, we gotta go back to the studio, catch up on the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths, a major gauge of inflation. The consumer price index rose 7% in December. Now that's compared to the previous year, according to the latest numbers from the Department of Labor. It's the fastest rise in 40 years, or since June of 1982. Now for example, used vehicle prices in December were 37% higher than a year ago. Gasoline was up nearly 50% and food prices climbed 6.3%. USDA putting a period on the end of 2021 with a host of new reports in the department, leaving the national corn yield unchanged at a record high 177 bushels per acre in 2021. That's 5.6 bushels higher than the previous year. Iowa, once again, the top yielding state at 205 bushels an acre, beating out Illinois. Texas A&M releasing a study showing farmers are currently facing nitrogen costs 80% higher than last year. The report by the university's Agricultural Food and Policy Center was commissioned by 20 different state corn grower groups. Now, the researchers say the 80% rise in prices will cost corn farmers an average of $52 per acre this year. That translates to roughly 32 cents per bushel that corn farmers need from somewhere to offset the rise in nitrogen costs. Let's check on some recent auction prices from around the country. Now back to our host, Machinery Pete. Hey, stay with us folks. Coming up, you're not gonna wanna miss a very sharp Case IH tractor. It's 20 years old. This 01 MX220, it's got 6,029 hours on it. It is in really nice shape. I'm here with our owners and sellers who are retiring. This is Terry and Joni Lawson here in Noblesville, Indiana. Now, you guys, we were, we were, I was kind of teasing you a bit ago. You picked kind of the perfect time to sell <laughs> yeah. the way the market is, but uh, had you guys been planning your retirement for a while? No, not really. Not uh, to just uh, to retire completely. Uh, our younger son was involved in farming with us and uh, he was a journeyman electrician also, and he, he just decided he didn't want the farm in it anymore. And he went back to working uh, his electrical job. Okay. And uh, so the last couple of years when he decided to do that, that kind of made a direction that we was headed. Sure. And how have you been feeling here the 
say the last two, three weeks leading up to the sale. Start with Joni first. How have you been feeling? It's kind of a bittersweet, you know? And when you look at the things that it took a lot of years to accomplish and then you know, once they go, this is it. We're not gonna be, I mean, maybe we could do something small, but the big part of it is gonna be gone and that's the end. It's kind of, I don't know, makes you kind of, it gets you right here. I, little, I hear you, Joni. You know, and it's hard to watch him because he has his moments. He's up and down. So there he is. Yeah, just it's a it's a it's a lifetime rolled rolled up into uh, uh, one sale day. Here. Yeah. Well, folks, the average auction price on the last six Case H MX 220s I've seen sold thirty three thousand seven hundred fifty bucks. Now on today's sale, our 01 model was 6,029 hours. The online bid on this thing last night was already up to 35,000. 59 now 60 next lot gotta be 60 we're 59 pi say 60 60 but it is 60 but it is 60 thousand dollar now 60 thousand pi 60 thousand pi 60 thousand pi give me five 60 thousand five here we go 60 thousand pi 60 thousand five so next lot better sixty thousand dollars in the better number six zero six six all right folks next up we got a 2000 john deere 260 skid steer 1518 hours on it now coming into the sale today the highest auction price i've ever seen on a 260 skid steer with over a thousand hours on it nineteen thousand bucks all the way back on february 4th 2015 in marion south dakota here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. So online the better number seventy five hundred dollars. For farmers working to lift, change, and repair tires on their home farms, check out the Tire Grabber at thetiregrabber.com. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machine Repeat's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerypeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Hey folks, we have a special guest here. This is Gary Reynolds. 
Uh, chairman, of course, Reynolds Farm Equipment, a fantastic John Deere dealer here in central Indiana. Now, Gary, you're actually neighbors with the Lawsons here, right, right next door. Yeah, absolutely. Next, right next door, we moved into the neighborhood, their neighborhood, I should say, 25 years ago. And from then on, we've been good friends. And in fact, we share coffee every morning, Monday through Friday, um, most weeks. So when they're not out in Arizona or something, but. So what, what do you guys, uh, what do you talk about over coffee? You're solving the world's problems? Oh, we it? solved all the world's problems. I don't know why there would be any problems because we solve them all. And, and we discuss the lay of the land, farming and everything. Uh, Cause Terry has a different perspective when you farm in that 1700 acre range, uh, it's a different perspective than some of the larger farmers around and, and it's all good. It's all good information. Now, Gary, I understand that uh, Terry had his own machine shop, but also actually, did he work for you for a little bit, set up? Yeah. Terry did work for us uh, for a little bit and set up and and then he got enough acreage that he kind of made, need to stay here full time. And, and we understood that. And uh, plus he had his own machine shop and then his son would help him in the machine shop. And uh, then his son became an electrician. And, and I think uh, if he wanted to come back, the, the opportunity had been here, but, and we can't blame anybody for that. Well, life, life has different uh, twists and turns for all of us, doesn't it? Sure does. Um, now, Gary, what would you say about the quality of, of care of equipment for, uh, for Terry and Joni here? Well, being, this isn't just, uh, Terry hasn't just done what's ready for this sale. This is the way he keeps the machinery all the time. In fact, uh, he is, he'll spend any free time just going over anything. He wanted to make sure, for example, that today if you bought a tractor, it was serviced, it was ready to go. If you bought the combine, it was as good as you can get. And I remember just a couple weeks ago, he found some loose bolts on a 30-year-old international field cultivator. And he said, I got to get those bolts replaced. But Very meticulous. There won't be anything any better than what this equipment is. Hey, welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, we're off to Kentucky, and we're going to learn the story of an Oliver 1950 row crop. I like this so much because it's set up just like my grandpa's was that he bought back in 1970. His had the fender fuel tanks, the same front end, everything. That's why when I saw the tractor, I had to have it because it looked just like his. I always wanted one that looked just identical to his. It's equipped with the fender fuel tanks on it, which would, with the tank under the hood, that would put the capacity up to almost 110 gallons of fuel total. This tractor also is equipped with the long pinion shaft in the rear end, so it could be converted to four wheel drive if the farmer wanted to do it down the road. There's not as many of those built with that long pinion shaft in the rear end like that one. This one I got from a farmer up around Cincinnati, Ohio, a little over a year ago. He had owned the tractor for 25 years and used it on his farm and just farmed with it. And uh, I found it for sale online and I just ha I had to have it, so I went and got it. <laughs> I just use it in parades, uh, we pull it in some farm stock, just, you know, stock out of the field tractor pulls. I play with it out here on the farm with my uncle. He farm, he runs this farm that we're on here, so I get it out there and haul hay with it, pull silage, haul silage wagons with it and stuff like that. It's still in its work clothes. I thought about restoring it, but I mean, it's almost too nice to restore really, I think. So I'll probably just keep it like this for a while. Maybe one day eventually down the road, maybe restore it, get it looking pristine again. but. Overall, the tractor's in real good shape. The previous owner took real good care of it. Uh, I got the dual wheels for it as well when I bought the tractor. It's got it's equipped with the dual wheel hubs on the back. I've had them bolted on it before, but there's really no purpose around here. I don't have any big equipment to pull with it or anything. But I'll just put them on there for show, take a couple pictures and take them off. So I got a couple of some neighbors right here. They love when I get it out on the road, just run up down the road, just so I can hear that Detroit motor screaming with that straight pipe on it. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Got equipment to sell? Sell it on the Machine Repeat monthly online auction. Call 844-727-6374 and we'll connect you with one of our auction partners to get your equipment listed. Coming into the sale today, folks, the highest auction price I've seen this year on a John Deere 6175R is $119,000. That was back on April 13th, 2021. 
farm auction in Maribel, Wisconsin. Only had 421 hours on it. Now our feature item on the show today, this 15 model, it's got 1,200, uh, just under 1,300 hours on it, but the online bid on it last night was already up to 95,000. Well, folks, you just watched the highest auction price ever on a John Deere 6175R sold without a loader. The feature item on the sale, the 2015 model, 1264 hours, comes in at 132,000 bucks. The previous high without a loader was almost five years ago at 127, and that only had 458 hours on it. Hey folks, special treat here. I'm with Aaron Holbert, a social media star in the ag world. Aaron, thank you for making time to visit with us today. And well, thank you guys for coming out. Uh, yeah, well, at, and I need to start with this. Thank you for what you do and how you do it out on social media. Your rise here in the past year, one to two years, has just been amazing. You're up to like, how many YouTube followers do you have now? I think close to 60,000. 60,000, and let's tell people you graduated from Purdue, you went up to Michigan to work as an agronomist, and mm -hmm. then pick up the story from there. Yeah, so then I came back here to work for um, a regional seed company as a DSM. I really loved the people I met, um, but it just wasn't for me. So I came back to the farm um, and then started a business um, on the side. And your business, Heart of the Midwest? Heart of the Midwest. Selling clothing, and boy, that has just grown fantastically too, hasn't it? Yes, it has. I definitely did not expect any of it, so. Well, now, I remember watching your early YouTube videos, Aaron, and you were kind of saying, gosh, I'm not really sure about this, uh, but your viewership has just skyrocketed, and what kind of feedback have you been getting from the videos? Pretty good. A lot of people that didn't grow up on farms or really have no idea, and a lot of people internationally, um, you know, seeing how we do things differently here in the Midwest. Right. I noticed you did uh, recently a, a live stream on YouTube. I did. That was my cat. first one. <laughs> and that was you were running the uh, running the auger auger yep. car in, in the 8420. Yep. And that John Deere 8420 is your favorite tractor? Absolutely. Well, I, I, I told you before, Aaron, but I think that confirms your excellent taste. Uh, 8420 is a very popular tractor. But again, uh, how would you describe your style of, of doing your YouTube videos and your Instagram? You have a ton of followers, too. Yeah, uh, I definitely, I don't plan anything. I don't do anything differently than I normally would to film. If I think about it, I'll pick up my phone. I do it all off my phone. Okay. So nothing fancy, and I just kind of make it work. I don't do a ton of editing. I don't really love that part of it, but I do like sharing the farming story. Hey folks, thanks for joining us this week on Machinery Repeat TV from Central Indiana. It was really fun to be here for the retirement auction for uh, Terry and Joni Lawson, and man, they had some nice equipment. And again, the trend of good condition used tractors selling through the roof, boy, we saw that today. The 20-year-old MX220 selling for 60K with over 6,000 hours. And of course, a record auction price on the 6175R with auto loader. Thanks for joining us again, folks, and we will see you back here next week on Machine Repeat TV.
Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. Best way I've seen to fix faded paint? Dakota Shine. Order online at DakotaShine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today.